so today we are going to determine what the effect of concentration on the reaction rate so first things we have four conical flask a b c and d and of course we are going to measure about 40 cubic centimeters of two molar sulfuric six acid this one right here and we put it in flask a so i'll just use a measuring cylinder 100 ml measuring cylinder and put 40 cubic centimeters of two molar sulfuric six acid okay all right so make sure that you have your eye at the 40 mark level to avoid the parallax error so I check this is exactly 40 well put it in flask A then you're going to measure 30 centimeters cubed of the two molar sulfuric six acid and place it in flask B okay that's 30 centimeters cubed in flask B and then now we go for 20 centimeters cubed in flask C all right yes that's exactly 20 put that in flask C very good and then in the last flask D we're going to put 10 cubic centimeters I'll use this 10 milliliter measuring cylinder well that's 10 and you put it in flask D then the next thing we're going to dilute because you're looking for concentration to see how concentration affects the rate of reaction I'm going to dilute the acid in these flasks B C and D and how am I going to do that I'll be adding some distilled water so I'll add distilled water in flask B I'll add 10 cubic centimeters so that I make it a total of 40 like the one in A and then in flask C I'll add 20 and in flask D I'll add 30 cubic centimeters so I'll use a new measuring cylinder so here I'll add 10 for flask B okay so I have 10 cubic centimeters for flask B and of course I will swirl the mixture just to make sure it uh, is homogeneous then in flask C, I'm going to add 20. So that is 10. I need to add one more. Then I add one more. And all right, that is 20. So now as you can see flask A has 40 cubic centimeters of 2 molar sulfuric 6 acid flask B we added 30 centimeters cubed of 2 molar sulfuric 6 acid and added 10 cubic centimeters of distilled water to make a total volume of 40 and here we added 20 cubic centimeters of 2 molar sulfuric 6 acid and added 20 cubic centimeters of distilled water to make it to a total of 40 so I'll swirl to make a homogeneous solution then i go on for flux d i had added 10 cubic centimeters of this of two molar sulfuric six acid and therefore i will add 30 centimeters cubed so that is 10 i have two more so i go ahead and have yeah there we go good okay one more one more so that will make it a total of 40 centimeters cubed very well very good and that is now 
total of 40 cubic centimeters and I swirl the mixture very well now I want to see how the sulfuric six acid is going to react with this this is magnesium ribbon but in the beginning you see that it is having a coating a dark you can see some of the gray and dark solid on top of it that is just magnesium oxide because magnesium is a fairly reactive metal so it reacts with the oxygen in air to form an oxide layer so what i'm going to do i'm going to scratch off any of the oxide layer so i scratch it off until all of it is gone good now i have a fairly clean piece of magnesium ribbon and the next thing is to measure about two centimeters of this ribbon so i'll use my ruler right here and measure two centimeters of course i think this is going to be better like, like these great so i need to cut here cut two centimeters four centimeters six centimeters and eight centimeters okay great so now i have my four pieces of two centimeter magnesium ribbon something else i need is this a stopwatch so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the first flask which contained the 40 cubic centimeters of two molar sulfuric six acid so i'm going to drop off one of these ribbons magnesium ribbons into the flask and then start the stopwatch immediately and then watch it closely until all the magnesium ribbon is used up and stop the clock watch okay stopwatch all right so let's go for round one You can see the effervescence coming out that is because when magnesium reacts with sulfuric six acid we produce hydrogen gas and there good that's it so the first reaction ended in 28 seconds so I'm going to record this in my data book now one thing many students can confuse is that they record this 41 milliseconds you don't really have to record the 41 milliseconds we are only interested in the seconds now, so now for the second one on flask B I'm going to drop the magnesium ribbon and immediately start my stopwatch your eye on the magnesium ribbon That's it, 45 seconds. Then I go and record this in my data book. Remember, don't record the milliseconds. Now I'm on to flask C. I reset my stopwatch. And then I put another two centimeter magnesium ribbon. final bubble there that is one minute and 17 seconds so here what you need to do is to convert this into seconds so you shall do 60 for one minute plus 17 that gives you 77 seconds and now to the final one I reset my stopwatch and then of course I add the magnesium ribbon and immediately start the stopwatch
as you notice this reaction is taking much longer we added 30 centimeters cubed of distilled water to 10 cubic centimeters of 2 molar sulfuric six acid And there you go, you're almost there. Okay, final bubble. right there two minutes and 46 seconds so that gives you 166 seconds for the last reaction 